Do you need a degree to work in tech in 2024? More and more Americans are asking themselves, is a college degree still worth it? And pay for accommodation when much of the teaching is being done online. A mad dash of applicants across America hoping to get into the college of their choice. Honestly, the answer is no. That's the definitive answer. So if that's all you watch this video for, then you can safely click away now knowing that you have the knowledge that you came for. However, there are three things that you might want to consider. Three points that you might not have taken into consideration whether you're deciding to spend the next four years grinding out that first junior role or spend the next four years getting a bit of paper. So the first thing we need to consider, fully remote. Now I work fully remotely and I wouldn't change this for the world. I've worked hybrid in the past and that also works. It means I can decide how my day looks as long as I'm consistently contributing, consistently putting out high quality work and consistently being an active team member, I can manage my life admin during the time that I would otherwise spend commuting. Which means come the weekend, I can use it for what it's meant for, resting and not recovering. Now the obvious drawback to working remotely is you don't develop those social skills. If you go straight from a classroom environment in school straight into a fully remote role, this is where college and university are gonna be a great gap and a great skill builder in between college and work. The way they teach you how to collaborate, present in large groups, have an opinion and voice it, contribute, and make those social connections. These are arguably far more important than any technical skill you're gonna learn along your journey. These skills are gonna propel you forward through your career way more than any hard tech skill could. Developing these social skills is infinitely harder when you're working from home. You have poor social skills, you have a problem. Now, if you're in your 30s, 40s, maybe in your late 20s, chances are you've already had chance to develop those social skills. So this is really aimed at those sort of 16 to 24 year olds, that part. That part in your life where you are focusing on developing those social skills. And again, they really are gonna be the critical path for you pushing forward in your career. Number two, fundamentals. You cannot underestimate the fundamentals that a computer science degree will give you. I'm a product of a graduate bootcamp, which taught me all about cloud computing, modern DevOps practices. However, it was my education that taught me about ports, protocols, basic networking, Linux administration. You see what I'm saying here? I'm not dismissing bootcamps if they help you land a job. There are a lot of dodgy ones out there. No scam, no scam! But they physically don't have time to teach you all the fundamentals. Now, I'm a big believer of learning on the job. You don't need to have every single skill that a recruiter or a job is asking for before you apply. However, you do want to make life as easy for yourself as possible. And if it's first day on the job and you're sharing your screen with a senior cloud engineer and you don't know how to operate the terminal because during your bootcamp you never learned how to use Linux, then it's going to be really awkward. And that's where college and university again come in. They teach you the fundamentals. Now, I'm not saying you you can't learn those fundamentals on YouTube, YouTube University. I have learned so much on YouTube. There are so many great free and paid courses out there that are gonna teach you the fundamentals. But you have to ask yourself, do you have the discipline, the motivation, the wherewithal to stick to a study plan to teach yourself those fundamentals? Can you teach yourself the fundamentals without the guidance of a lecture? Can you teach yourself those fundamentals and bring it all together in an end of year project like you would in college or university? Number three, time wasted. Now, you probably won't take this advice. Nobody ever does, I didn't. It's just the way things are. But man, I miss the amount of time I had at university. Albeit, I spent most of it playing video games. The year was 2015 and The Witcher 3 had just came out. My dissertation was also due. It was a bit of a cruel twist of fate, really. If you're lucky enough to not have a part-time job during your studies, use this time wisely. Learn, build, document, rinse, repeat. Not to sound negative, but you're literally, you're never going to have this much free time again until you retire or you win the lottery or you build a SaaS product and sell it and retire early because that's the pipeline that everyone wants, right? Use your time at college and university in a time that your future way would be thankful for. So that's the three points. There's the social sides, there's the free time you get, and there's the fundamentals. However, there are obvious drawbacks to going to college and university. A degree can be pricey. It's not accessible for everyone. You can learn 99% of the hard skills online in a more condensed and probably cheaper way. Ultimately, everyone has their own path to follow. Just because your peers are heading off to study doesn't mean you need to as well. However, consider the benefits you'll get from not just that bit of paper. I know a lot of the time getting a degree can just feel like a HR tick box, but there are other skills that you pick up at college and university that you're not gonna get anywhere else in life, especially when it comes to computer science. If you want a career working with computers, there's a chance that you already need a little bit of pushing to be social. And that's what college and university gives you. Now, a lot of colleges are online these days, but that doesn't mean you still don't get that network of support that you might not get as much in a job. Now, any job worth its salt is gonna have, you know, 
proper structures of seniority in place that will be there to support new people and new new graduates and new junior staff members in their role but it's still not as concentrated you've still not got that dedicated friend group who are all going through the same thing thanks for making it to the end i'm trying to hit 5,000 subscribers to the summer so if you could hit that subscribe button if you've enjoyed this video it lets me know that like this kind of content really works on this format so are you going to go to college or uni this august to go and get a computer science degree or a cyber security degree let me know down in the comments because i am genuinely interested to see what people are doing out there